What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be using the GoPro to record in the lapel microphone I have here as my audio recording. Trying some new inventions coming up in a week and I just want to make sure that everything I'm going to be using for it is going to be good to go. So be looking out for a Hamvention comment uh, content here in a couple weeks. On a side note, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about Faraday bags, much like the one that I have right here. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. A few weeks ago, uh, a business reached out to me, uh, and I can only pronounce them as Jixi Jixo or JXE JXO. Other than that, I don't know really how it's pronounced, but they reached out to me over my email. And without this channel becoming a doomsday prepper style channel, we had these Faraday bags. Uh, could you make a review on them? And I said, sure. And that doesn't mean that I, I didn't guarantee them a good review. I didn't guarantee that I was going to sell their product or anything like that. There's no, uh, there's no connection between me and the company. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Uh, I said, go ahead and send me the products because we are shifting to more functional uh, gear on this channel. A more, uh, as the tech prepper likes to say, tools, not toys. Taking all my equipment and I'm creating it. Uh, I'm building it in a way that is useful in case I need to help in a disaster or if I need to use it in a disaster. And unfortunately, Faraday bags kind of fall in the category of something that can be used in a disaster. Those of you that have seen reviews on my channel, I even the products that are sent me for free, I kind of tell it like it is. If I don't like a product or if I don't like something about it, I'm going to talk about it. That way that my viewers can trust me. And uh, I think that's important. Uh, real quick, the link for these bags will be in the description. Again, I don't, uh, I will, I'm not affiliated with a company. However, I am an Amazon affiliate. So any type of Amazon links that I always put in the description, I do earn a percentage of the commission. Usually when I coordinate with businesses like this uh, and they send me a product, I expect some type of Chinese garbage to be at my door. And in this case, I was refreshingly surprised. I brought the box to the table and I put it on the table. My wife was sitting there and I started to get the bags out. And even she said, whoa, what are those? I said, oh, these are Faraday bags. And I was kind of taken aback by the material and the quality of it all. Uh, right out the get-go, I was like, wow, these are actually really nice bags. I hope they work. So you might be wondering, and real quick, uh, again, this isn't a doomsday channel, but I will give you the lowdown on what the use case for these bags might be. There's two different reasons why you might want a bag like this, a Faraday bag. One is to reduce your wireless footprint. All of the devices that we have these days, whether it be phones or cameras and all, all types of stuff, produce some type of electromagnetic waves, interference. It could be Wi-Fi, it could be Bluetooth, it could be NFC. It's all types of wireless stuff that we're emitting from us. So what these bags will do is they will contain those devices and hide that digital foot, wireless footprint from the rest of the area. That means people with direction finding equipment and, or uh, software defined radios that take a look at the radio spectrum will not be able to see you pinging on the radio spectrum. So if you have a phone and you're worried about maybe it's still broadcasting while it's on airplane mode, uh, stuff like that, you can slip it into these bags and if they work, which we will test, then uh, you will be invisible on the radio spectrum. Another uh, use for these bags is to protect your devices from an EMP, an electromagnetic pulse. An electromagnetic pulse, real quick, is just a strong wave of electromagnetic energy that uh, is known to destroy devices with a modern transistor. And uh, this is basically any device these days, whether it be your cell phone, modern radios, uh, if there were an EMP, then it would destroy most of the products if you don't have them protected somehow. With these Faraday cage bags, it's hard to test for me. I don't have the equipment to test if they are EMP proof. I can test if they are radio wave proof. Uh, but just know that that's another case for a Faraday bag or a Faraday cage. An alternative to something like this might be uh, a metal trash can. And if you guys are really interested in uh, protecting your devices and a lot of makeshift or, and DIY kits, there's a video that Josh um, made on his channel over at Ham Radio Crash Course that I'll link in the description. It has all, it's, all, it's like an hour and a half long or something like that. Super long video about protecting your radios from the EMPs. This is more condensed version to talk about this product and how I'm going to be bagging my devices up and testing those. I, I, I got these bags in and what I learned is they're actually waterproof. Not only are they EMP bags, so they are lined with some type of metal, uh, but these are fireproof and waterproof bags. So they serve as three different things, electromagnetic proof, uh, wave proof, they're waterproof, they're fireproof. They're very versatile little bags and honestly they're high quality. Let's take a look at them uh, a little closer. 
So if you buy the kit that I was received here, I think it's $30. It comes with, it looks like two, oh, there's a solar panel, don't need that. Two smaller bags, a, um, a medium-sized, oh, two medium-sized bags, and a much larger bag. Um, all these bags, it looks like, come with this nice little hook on the side so you can hang it on onto something if you'd like. Uh, it's like a carbon fire ma uh, material with a logo on it as well. And what you do is you just open it up and you slip your devices in there and then you'll roll it once, then you roll it again to close it. And you want to make sure it's nice and tight and then all your uh, devices inside should be shielded from electromagnetic waves. So I'm just going to test a couple things here and uh, kind of just see what fits inside. Some things that you might include are things like, like the Baofeng radio. Uh, this is something that would probably go bad in an EMP. So let's take one of the smaller bags and see if we can't fit the Baofeng and a rubber duck inside. So I'm going to take the Baofeng, I'm going to slide it down into the bag, and we'll take one of these rubber ducky antennas, which the antenna doesn't really need to be in the bag. It doesn't have any um, sensitive uh, electronics in it, but I like to keep my radios with their components. So I'm going to roll this once, roll it over again, and there I have a Baofeng that is shielded from electromagnetic waves. It fits in the small bag pretty well, actually. This is probably something that I would throw in my bag just to keep it waterproof, just to keep it fireproof, and know that this Baofeng is protected. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that you might want to protect would be something like a solar panel. So this is just a, a, a very cheap solar panel that uh, has a USB out. I bought this at Harvard Freight. It's called Thunderbolt. But let's see if we can get this to fit in maybe one of the medium bags. So it's not going to fit long ways. Let's see if we can fit it like this, which would be perfect. So that actually fits really well in there, that solar panel does. And again, I would fold it twice. Make sure the Velcro is nice and tight. And now I have a solar panel that is protected uh, from electromagnetic waves, water, and fire. So that actually fits really well. These are all bags, honestly, that I would kind of throw inside a backpack of sorts. And I wouldn't have to worry about if it started raining or something and my uh, digital devices started to get wet because they would be protected in this. Now, one of the things that I really wanted to test was my laptop. I'd really like to know if my laptop would fit and the larger one. So this is the laptop that I use for digital modes. Oh, it fits long ways. Look at that. That's nice. So now my laptop is in the bag and there's plenty of room almost for another laptop if I wanted to. So this isn't something I would only put my laptop in. I'll probably put maybe a charger or the rest of my digital cables in here. And again, I can just seal it up right like that and it would be good to go. Um, so as you can see, all these different bags are very versatile. Uh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of room for kind of how you want to mix and match things. But I'm actually very, um, you know, I haven't field tested these yet, but I'm surprised in the quality of the materials. Uh, I think I'll actually put this stuff in my backpack, my go bag like this. That way it's kept safe as another layer. And it doubles as uh, kind of a protector from electromagnetic or EMPs. Hopefully, we're going to test some stuff here in a moment and see how well they actually perform. Let's start by putting a cell phone inside one of these. So this is a cell phone. It's got signal on it. Um, I'm going to turn the volume way up. We're just going to turn the volume way up. And I'm going to try to call it with another phone while it's in one of these bags. So. I'm just going to take one of the small bags. This is a Galaxy S9 Plus for size. Um, let's see if it fits in the small bag. It does fit. It's extremely tight though. Let's see. That's a pretty tight fit. Um, let's try to call it and see if it rings. Right, so here I'm just going to call from my wife's phone. And we're going to see if it rings. My cell phone number is public somewhere, so I don't know why I'm covering it up, but last time I showed you on a video, I had some of you weirdos out there try to call me. Looks like it went straight to voicemail. Six, two, seven, 
Three, seven, three, two, oh, well, there's my phone number. Available. So, Tone. straight to voicemail, the EMP bag, um, the Faraday bag, it worked here. Perfectly masked the signal. It's very small footprint. I would be really interested, though, if this actually worked on a Balfang. And I don't expect it to, honestly. Uh, with uh, the amount of power that I would put out right next to these bags, I don't see it masking uh, a Balfang transmission. But we're going to throw a Balfang powered on in one of these bags and we'll find out. This is Kilo November 4, Mike Kilo Bravo. We're just going to slip it into one of these medium bags. That way we can fit the antenna on. Make sure the volume is all the way up and seal it up nice and tight. So now we hear the Balfang transmission. We know that the radio waves are still coming through. Right next to it, I would be extremely surprised if it doesn't. This is Kilo November 4, my Kilo Bravo performing a radio test. And right beside of it, it doesn't work. I mean, it works. So I'm going to walk to the other end of the house and try it out. All right, so I was actually quite surprised to see that just walking to the under the end of the house, the transmission was completely unintelligible. So although the squelch did break, uh, a Balfang at 5 watts, only about 15 feet away, was intelligible. So i got to say that that's actually... Um, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's not something that I expected, but there's a little test. You sciencey folks out there might be able to tell me if that's enough to stop an EMP from harming your devices. I'm not sure. And what I will be doing more than likely is taking some of my products, much like the battery, things like that, that I don't need to get wet, that uh, has complicated charging circuits in them. And I'll probably throw them in these bags whenever I go out and uh, that will kind of serve as a waterproof barrier. And probably we'll keep these devices cool too, considering there's some type of aluminum in here to work as a cooler. Um, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found some value out of it. This is my review of the JXE JXO uh, Faraday bags that were sent to me. The link to these bags will be in the description. If you guys think that you might be able to use them, here it is. If you think they're hot garbage, there it is as well. Uh, I myself will probably be putting these bags within my, my go bag and they will function as a way to keep my gear safe from water, fire, and uh, again, I'm not, I don't have the uh, equipment to test if this is actually EMP proof, but uh, I'd like to think maybe they'll protect from that as well. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to my channel members. I'll have to go back and forth and read the names off because I can't remember them all, but Google Must Die, Van Fickle, James Jenner, Peniel Vanderwalt, and Scott Pasternak. If I butcher your names, let me know down below. Anyways, appreciate you guys for watching, and stay safe out there.